So for today, we're going to be looking at Helm of Satan 14 and got asked for not too long ago. Real quick, the next exotics we're going to be looking at is the Controverse Hold and the Feedback Fence. So if there's an exotic that I may have missed, let me know in the comments below. I do apologize that I missed some if I did, because when I was doing these exotic videos, y'all were just pumping me with pure comments and I appreciate it. But just be aware that's probably what happened when when uh, I didn't put your exotic choice in here. So if you want to see your exotic be showcased, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, be aware that for some armor pieces, I don't have ornaments for them. That I'll explain it in a future video because I'm going to be explaining like uh, my Patreon and other things. And then like certain ways, just a bunch of stuff I'm going to be explaining because I've seen a lot of people ask for certain uh, exotic ornaments or the new ex uh, the new exotic uh, armor pieces. They've been asking for those and I, I kind of have to say like, well, those are on silver only and I don't do sil silver only because I don't spend uh, silver in this game like at all. So I'll explain it in a future video, but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me links are in the description below i say this now because there's a huge portion of people that are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub it really does help it motivates me to make more content for you guys and yeah you guys have been killing it so i'm not really gonna be bitching about it too much just i would appreciate it other than that let's look at what this exotic actually does starless knight targets that enter ward of dawn are blinded while allies that pass through gain a void overshield guarding with sentinel shield blinds nearby targets so this isn't an old exotic this is from d1 this is super old pretty sure this was vanilla d1 too and this is a really interesting exotic because the void shield you get from your word of dawn when you have helm of saint 14 equipped you actually get more health from your shield than just a basic bitch word of dawn if i remember correctly and you also get the benefit of blinding enemies that come in and that also does work in pvp which is super gross uh the other cool thing is this is uh ward of dawn is not the only super that it works with this you can also use sentinel shield and when you block you're actually blinding in enemies which is super super cool so overall exotic is super cool as for how it actually looks one of my favorite looking exotics in the game for me this is like peak destiny one design like i think this is like what destiny armor should look like it should go back to destiny one because a lot of it was just so fucking cool and the fact that we could wear th the enemy's ass as a hat like or, or however that saying would go uh but that's not that type of video i don't want to i don't want to cause that turmoil because i know that's like a really big debate within the community uh as for how it shaders i think this is one of the best shading uh exotics in the game there's not anything that doesn't unshader and a lot of the pieces look really cool there's also cool textures that you can put on it overall i think this is like one of the better uh, exotics when it comes to just making it look cool because it takes shaders really well it takes colors really well the only thing i could probably say that kind of annoys me is there's some shaders that don't pick up the glow in the middle of the visor too well but that is such a rarity that for me that's just not something to really bitch about but i wanted to include it just in case you guys are like like wanted to know as for the example set so for those of you who have seen my Lorelei Splendor Helm video uh, specifically this one right here you guys will immediately recognize it because it is it's basically the void version of that set which is funny because when I made the Lorelei Splendor video I immediately made this set right after because I was using Helm of Saint 14 a lot and the reason I want Helm of Saint 14 to go with this set is because I think the chest piece, boots, and mark, and even the arms to a certain extent, go so well with this set. For the arms, we're using the Desolation Diver Gauntlet, specifically because it's void themed, and the Shader Argent Territorn actually has a red glow. So I wanted to have as much purple as I can, and Argent Territorn is the best one for the silver look. And then Desolation Diver Gauntlets is good because the purple is just always there. Which is why I have a really weird opinion about certain glows being just one color. Because in this situation, it works well. Uh, for the for the chest piece, the boots, 
both of those are from the solstice events different years solstice plate resplendent and then the solstice graves yeah graves magnificent i think look amazing and really tie the void theme together really well and then for the mark tusk allegiance mark is probably one of my favorite marks when i'm trying to do a gladiator so this is literally one of my favorite looks that i've made but it's also because it's it's part of my other favorite look that I made for the solar version. Uh, hopefully, I say hopefully, but I just wish we had a really, I just really wish we had a really good arc version of a helmet. I might, well, I don't know, we'll see. I wanna see if I can make a cool arc version of this, even though I actually technically did, but it was different shaders and whatnot. But yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. I am such a fan of this set. It looks so fucking cool. Let me know in the comments below. Before we end the first example set, I just wanted to really uh, point out the fact that I'm using the Vitrified Chronology shader because that is the only shader that I found that has a silver tinge for the armor, but has a purple glow, which is why I'm using that shader specifically on that helmet. Because if you use the Argent Territorn, like I said, the Argent Territorn has a red glow to it, which is not what I wanted. I wanted a purple. So the vitri vitrified uh, chronology is going to be the best shader for that. If you guys find another shader, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, let's actually get into the next set. So the first ornament, the 14th Anisius. I think this looks amazing. Super, super cool. Very damaged. I really, really like it. And it also shaders really well, which was something I was not expecting. Uh, the coolest thing is the fact that when you shader, it actually takes shaders differently. So, for example, as you can see from Echoed Anger, the blue steel is actually on the damage piece of the helmet, which is super cool. And overall, I think this is probably one of the better uh, ornaments when it comes to like damaged and stuff, because we don't have a lot of those uh, for legendary or exotic ornaments and whatnot. We don't have a lot of damaged looking armor, which is unfortunate because this doesn't look that good with pieces that are like super super new it looks kind of off because again your helmet's super fucked up and nothing else is so i think that they really need to start adding more armor pieces that are a little bit more fucked up a little bit more damaged because when you have helmets like this and then everything is pristine it just kind of feels off uh, again i think the shader situation is amazing the the glow you can it retains the glow which is what's something i love it basically just looks like Helma Saint 14, but fucked up, which is right on point. I love it. Uh, as for the example set, this is interesting because we do have one set, at least from, from memory that, that comes to mind, the Wrecked Titan armor set. This is from, oh man, this is from the Red War. And unfortunately, I don't think you can pick this up anymore because the other piece you could get was the set from solstice year one and two but that one doesn't shader so i think this is strictly only for people that played the red war which is kind of fucked up because there's a lot of new people who didn't but that was that's going to be your best bet uh for the arms we're using the hard case brawlers because they look very uh, like patched on, which is why I like them. Unfortunately, like I said, if they were a little bit more mangled and like damaged, I think this would look super cool. For the chest piece, there's a few reasons why I'm using the steeplechase plate. Uh, one of the reasons is because the bandages on the stomach actually look really like, it gives a gnarly look, which is what I was going for. And the like silhouette is really thin, which works really well with the hard case brawlers because the hard case brawlers, it's literally just like arms and then armor pieces attached to the arms. Like it's not like, it's not like armor that goes on top of your arm, like other pieces. This is literally like it's hanging basically. So that's why I wanted to use the steeplechase. I wanted to have something slim, but also fucked up looking. Uh, for the boots, we're using the Wreck Titan Greaves because I thought the best, the best way to showcase the fuck, fucked upness of the armor set was to have the helmet be fucked up and then the boots be fucked up because then at that point everything else would kind of go well so i really like this set uh for the actually before i start talking uh for the mark we're using the dream bane mark because it looks tattered 
it looks super tattered and i again i wanted i want this armor set to look as fucked up as i can which is why we're using the tangled rust shader because it gives off this like very old metal look and that's really it like this one was super hard for me because i didn't want to combine it with anything pristine looking because it just looks fucking weird like if, if i'm being quite honest it just looks weird when you have pristine armor with something that looks like bro like you've you've been in the trenches but your armor doesn't look like it's been in the trenches like it's like <laughs> this is a good example it's like a guy that has like the thousand yard stare but he's wearing like a tuxedo and everything it's like what the fuck like your eyes do not match what you're wearing right now kind of thing so until we get more armor pieces that are a little bit more fucked up me personally what i would probably tell or like advise i guess you would say bungie to do is have the uh, seasonal armor that we get, specifically the activity armor, have a version where it's like normal, like how it usually would look, and then have a damaged version of it. That would be really cool because then it would trickle in more damaged armor, which is, I think, important to showcase like my Titan's been through shit. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. The only problem I have with the wrecked Titan Greaves is the fact that the kneecaps actually don't change color. So... They're going to stay white, unfortunately. Other than that, I think this is a cool set. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And let's get on to the final ornament, which is the Sainted Visage. So the Sainted Visage is an interesting thing because I don't have this ornament, obviously. And it's really hard to make cool stuff with this when you when you don't have it because you, you only have access to the customization screen, nothing else, which isn't super big a deal because everything i can do i can do there but it's different when you see your titan like moving and like in a different pose so this one i've done in multiple videos already you've probably seen multiple people do this one i'm just gonna stick to what i've done usually because i don't want to think too much with this one because a lot of people are just going to be using the same pieces with this one um although you can do some other cool stuff like maybe you can do a helm of saint fort or not helm uh you can probably do like a saint 14 inspired like look and then have this helmet so that way it could kind of look like oh shit like that's saint 14 but like evil i guess you do or you could just do an evil saint 14 that'd be cool too so for this set i just ended up going with something i've done in the past i don't know which video it was uh, it's probably one of these right here but for the arms we're using the descending echo gauntlets for the chest piece we're using the apilos following plate for the boots, War Newman's boots, and then for the mark, we're using the Forian mark. So, real quick, uh, if you just want to never look at any other video for this helmet, because it's lit. Like, I'm just gonna give you the juice. Descending Echo stuff, Apollo's following stuff, the King's Fall stuff, and the Forian stuff. All of the like those four sets, you can just mix, mix and match to make anything you want with this set. Like honestly. It's that simple because the Descending Echo stuff is going to look good with this helmet. The Apollo's Falling stuff is going to look good with it. Vice versa for, for the Warner Winds and the Forian. All of this is just going to look so cool with the helmet. Now, obviously, the harder thing would probably be to not use these pieces because at that point, you're actually going to have to like go out of the comfort zone and try to make something that looks terrifying without using these pieces. I just want to use these pieces because I've done it in the past. And honestly, this exotic just, I think, lends itself better to the organic look. And again, I, I gave much more time to my the damaged look more than the other two because, well, one of them I made a long time ago and I, I don't think I ever showed you guys. And the other one I've showed you guys multiple times. So the damaged one was the one that really, really was messing with me. So... Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I like a lot of these. I really like the damaged one. If we had more damaged armor, I think it would be an easy S tier. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me, again, links are in the description below. Thank you guys for all of the support, and I'll see you guys later.